Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Play Games and welcome to another Minecraft video. So today guys, we're taking a look at something very exciting here and man, it's just something that I kind of ran into the other day while playing around with the Clone Command. I just really badly wanted to share it with you guys, so I figured I'd make a quick video on it. Today we're taking a look at some terraforming techniques that you can implement in your own Minecraft worlds to allow you to easily terraform really cool shapes like this in your vanilla Minecraft. So guys, that's right, this entire mountain was built using vanilla Minecraft clone commands, and not to mention, it took literally 15 minutes. That's it, guys, and uh, and man, it looks really cool. If you guys recall, if you guys uh, ever watched the Minecraft City series on my channel, I did a whole uh, kind of build of the Hollywood Hills, and I did it all by hand. It took forever, and now that I'm just learning this, I'm so mad that I didn't know this back in the day, and I think this might really help some of you guys out with your, uh, with your Minecraft worlds, and I'm just excited to kind of get to the techniques here, and uh, you know, it's really cool. I think we should just jump right into the actual video. So that's right guys, uh, let's get started here, building with the clone command, if you guys haven't already watched my video on how the clone command works, I'm going to link it down below right now, you guys should go ahead and check that out first, I highly recommend watching that before you watch this one, because that does explain a lot of what I'm going to go over here today in more detail, so I think that you should definitely kind of get a hold of the clone command before you go ahead and just jump by building a crazy structure like this, however... Once you kind of understand how it works and whatnot, you're going to want to start off with basically what you're trying to copy, some sort of shape, um, whatever kind of form you're going for, even if it's like a lighter hill or maybe something more steep like that. You can see on the one that I've done, I've kind of started off with a lighter slope, kind of a, a less steep incline, then going up into a much steeper incline as I get higher up the mountain. By the way, I'm doing like a Hong Kong themed map here, It's uh, or city at least, I should say. It's, uh, it's coming underway here, and the hill was kind of a major thing. It's going to kind of curve around and whatnot, and, and I'm going to make some cool changes to it. And there may be a video coming out in the future uh, as well on that, so very exciting. But uh, but yeah, let's start off with like something very basic here. Um, so as you guys know, the clone command basically is a command that allows you to clone certain structures in Minecraft and move them around in your world, right? paste them, copy paste, that's basically what we're doing here. Um, generally speaking, when you're using the clone command, not even generally speaking, but uh, you want to grab two corners of the build that you're working on, basically. So let's say that we want this to be one of our corners, we're going to go ahead and write slash clone, we're going to grab the three coordinates of this corner, again I go in more depth about how this all works in the actual clone command video, which I'm assuming that you've watched by now, hopefully you have. We're going to go ahead and grab this corner, which is the opposite corner, you want to get the top on the opposite corner and then the bottom uh, corner on the other one, so again you're capturing all the Y. Uh, value there and then also your X and Z and once we've inputted our second coordinate when you want to paste this structure somewhere you're going to go up to the northwest corner of it again your uh, facing is right here facing north and again west is over that way north is over that way so we want to make sure that we're in the northwest corner then when we go ahead and paste something here which is the third command or the third set of coordinates in our command when you go ahead and press enter you're going to see the structure appear right over here Okay, so that's great and all. We have two of them. However, you're going to realize something here. If I go over here and try to paste one here, uh, you're going to realize that we're going to run into a slight issue, um, which is, of course, that the source destination cannot overlap. There's actually a way to get around this, guys. It's the mask command, I believe, and you can just go ahead here and force it. It'll force its way on top of the old structure and replace itself. But that's not really what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is figure out a way to actually get these to become part of each other. Because you'll notice, if I go ahead here and just paste another one of these right here, and just using kind of the regular... Uh, command system that we have, you're going to realize that we're going to get a bunch of kind of funky lines going on. Not as much on this one because it's smaller, but even that, we get that, that square at the end, which is not really what we're looking for. Uh, if we try it again here, we might get a better example. Yeah, you guys see how we just get kind of these weird, weird, it's just, it's not terraformed, right? Okay, perfect. So what we got here looks nothing like what we got up there, and that's exactly what I'm trying to show you guys here with the clone command. There's a tool which I really want to uh, show you guys how to use, and I think you guys are going to like it quite a bit. So if we go over here, we're just going to kind of start over here for a second. We've got our, our structure here, which actually is, is not very good now because of this, uh, this straight wall. But if we kind of cut down on that a little bit, oh, you know what? It's actually cutting up right here because we pasted into it. That wasn't very smart on my part, but I did want to demonstrate that. If we just go ahead here and remove some of that, I think we should be uh, should be good now. Let's try that again. Just paste that right here in a normal clone command, which uh, it will you know go ahead and replace it, I think. Okay, forget it. I've just gone ahead and re-clone this structure because I've kind of messed it up a little bit. Now we got a structure that we can work with, and, uh, and we're going to go ahead and play around with it. So we're going to place it right here. 
bam, we got our first little bit of structure. It's kind of taken out some of the ground here. We're not going to worry about that at all. Um, as we continue to do this, so in the future, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the left a little bit because we do have to kind of start on the uh, on the southern side of it, the southern east side preferably because then we can work our way up from there. If we go ahead though here and place it, the trick that we're going to be using here is we're going to enter the new coordinate, but we're going to be using something called masked. Now masked basically allows it to kind of build itself without destroying any of the air blocks around it or any of the blocks that are pre-existing. So when we use masked, you'll see that it molds into the other shape. Now you will obviously have to go through at the end and probably do some more terraforming along the lines of just filling in some gaps that are going to be uh, you know, not filled in with the clone command, but generally speaking, this is going to give you a really nice looking shape. And uh, we've used a pretty consistent looking one, pretty obvious that it's, uh, that it's been duplicated multiple times. But the larger that you make these shapes, um, for example, the ones that I've used over here for this mountain are actually sitting right over here. You can see we got some stone in one of them. We even got a more detailed version of one over here. They're much more uh, wide, and I think as you add them together, you can't really tell that they're being cloned. If you use smaller shapes, so you will easily be able to see the, the uh, repeating pattern that goes along with it, as you can kind of see here. However, guys, when you're going ahead and doing this, it's literally going to allow you, especially with the mask command, to just go ahead here and do as many of these as you want, even be able to stack them like so. And just like that, we are literally building ourselves a little piece of train here at the click of a couple buttons. So again, all I'm doing here as I go, by the way, is entering the new bit of coordinates as well as the mask command. And, uh, and that's just gonna be filling itself in. We wanna kind of fill this area in over here. So we just kind of go underneath, hit that command again. And bam, we're going to be just filling in an entire mountain here again. A little bit of patchwork has to occur. But you guys can see generally what I'm talking about. You can make some pretty cool structures here. Obviously as well, sort of as I mentioned with the other one, the more detail that you add to these, the better they're going to look as well. It kind of gets rid of the symmetry completely. You can add whatever kind of blocks you're doing. You don't have to do this with grass either. You can do it with the, some sort of stone. Let's even say you're building a city block and you just want some definition and some hills or... Um, you just want even some sort of like narrow incline. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of really cool stuff that you could do with this. But now we've got this is a little bit more of a uh, of a detailed structure. You know, I'm not really a, uh, a pro detailer when it comes to this stuff. But even if we go ahead here and start start to paste some of these, we'll maybe put one right here. And, and you guys will begin to see how much better it's going to look detailed. And it's just a really cool way of terraforming in your vanilla world. Check it out. You can then again go along at the end like I've done and add some trees. And uh, and then again, add some ferns and whatnot. You can even see in my mountain, I haven't gone through and patched it all yet. So I'm going to have to go along and kind of fill some of these holes, if you will. And uh, and it's going to make it look a lot better. But you guys can just sort of see the uh, the effect of this command and how it can really help in your vanilla world. You don't need any sort of world editor or anything like that. And I just really wanted to share that with you guys quickly in a video. Hopefully this will benefit some of you guys. And, uh, and you guys learned something from this video. So again, guys, just to review, you are going to be making your own sort of terraforming or terrain that you kind of want to follow the pattern of. For example, this one here with the mountain. I'm just going to give you one more example here, and then we will uh, bring the video to a conclusion. But we do have one there, which is a pretty cool example because this is a much steeper version of what we have. We're going to go ahead and paste it right here so you guys can already see we got a pretty good thing going on. And then we're going to go up to the top here and actually paste that again. You guys can see this steep mountain that we're going to start to develop here over time. Look at that. Like right off the bat, we've already got a mountain. Now, obviously, to curve it and whatnot, it's going to take a little bit more on the terraforming side. But there's no reason why you couldn't step back a few blocks. Say I wanted to go over here. And again, we want to use that mass command. We're even on the wrong block here, but that's all good. We're going to go ahead and use the mass command and start to move it back. Again, some uh, some terraforming work will have to happen. But comparatively to building the entire mountain on your own, this is a much quicker technique as to how to do this. And, uh, and yeah, just a really cool way to do some terraforming in vanilla Minecraft. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video and found it useful, please don't forget to go below, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all in the next video.